Hey guys, today we're going to be talking a little bit about my new sponsor, which is Punch-Out Gaming. Um, just hooked up with them a few days ago, and I actually have a live event coming up with them this weekend. But, um, you know, this is just the basic homepage at punchoutgaming.com. Um, we'll actually navigate the site a little bit just to kind of give you guys a good feel of what they got going on with their <coughs> stuff. Um, as you can see, you can order from their website, you know, you can set up an account or whatever and order whatever it is you want. You get a 30 day warranty on everything. Um, one thing I thought was really cool when I saw it is that they have their own mystery box system. Now we'll just kind of peer into that a bit. Um, basically for whatever kind of gaming you prefer, whether it's Nintendo, Xbox, or PlayStation, or Sega, you know, they just give you, you know, a certain amount of items per box. You never really know exactly what it is, hence the name Mystery Box. Uh, let's see, I'll just open up the PlayStation Mystery Box, just shits and giggles to give a demonstration here. Um, you can choose, you know, which system you prefer out of all of them. It's like 25 bucks, but you get five items per crate. So, to me, I think that's pretty neat because it kind of reminds me of, um, well, I suppose I can't really say their name because I'm not collaborate with them. But um, a certain other site that everyone else advertises where you get awesome random stuff. But to me, this is just kind of, I prefer it because I'm more focused on gaming than I am just pop culture in general. Let's see. Yeah, they got, but they're very nostalgic based. They're, um as you can tell from the name of them themselves based off um, or inspired by the old Punch-Out game. In fact, they actually have plaques on their wall in the store of the old Punch-Out uh, characters, which is pretty damn cool. Um, they got a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff, so I mean they also hold um, tournaments and stuff at the store uh, for card gamers, which is, I think it's pretty neat that they do that too. Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'll read about them instead of just kind of going off my head here so that way I can actually give, you know, a more vivid detail. Yeah, those are the brothers that actually own it. Really cool guys. Um, they were actually there when I went to go talk to Punch Out and see about the sponsorship and stuff. But, um,. Let's see, from games for the classic systems like NES and Atari to Sega for today's newer systems like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, Forest Lakes Punch Out Gaming has options for almost every video game enthusiast. And real quick, they're not wrong, I mean they have a pretty good selection for just about everything. Uh, let's see here, the idea for Punch Out Gaming owned by brothers Eric and Mike Johnson first began back in 2013, so I mean they're still fairly new. You know, while the pair was selling games from Mike's house, Eric decided to put his collection of video games up for sale in an attempt to make some money. So, I mean, you know, I think that's pretty cool that, you know, they just, they're trying to make the dream as much as they're trying to help out with it, so that's one of the reasons why I feel really, you know, really enthusiastic about this partnership here. And then, you know, they just kind of give you, like, a little... A short little interview with them, you know. So, I mean, if you guys want to hop on the site, check it out. I think it'd be definitely worth it. Um, like I said, I don't want to record too long because I don't want to drag it on or make you guys bored or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Like, uh, looks like their hours are Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, well, I'm guessing this upcoming Saturday will be kind of an exception because the tournament or whatever we're going to be holding won't start until 9 p.m. So, I'm guessing if you just call them and say, hey, I want to participate, that they'll, they might hold the door open. I'm not sure exactly how they're running it. All I know is that I'm helping, you know, get prizes for people and that I'm helping provide some cards against humanity cards for it um, otherwise well they've also told me that um, their scheduling and their calendar aren't exactly up to date 
So if you come on here and everything looks like it's basically copy paste week after week, uh, that's not necessarily true. I know that they basically alternate by every other week, is from what they've told me. So I'm not sure exactly when they'll update that, but just so you guys have a heads up, I mean this is still generally how it looks like but I know at least their weekend events do alternate. So, just a heads up on that. Otherwise, again, if you guys want to check them out, please feel free to do so. Um, I'll have links for all of their stuff down in the description of the video. All right, you know what, guys? I figured as a quick little bonus here, we'll check out their photo gallery because it looks, you know, it actually gives you a pretty good view of what the store actually looks like. Yeah, I figure, you know who doesn't want to see that? Oh, I can't blow up and make that bigger. Hold on a second. I got an idea! Come on. Come on! Alright, well, we'll give that a minute. But, I mean, especially this area here is really cool. Because what they have in here is like, basically a little testing area where you can go in there hook up a console and play any game that you're feeling like maybe you want to try out or purchase or whatever you know try before you buy sort of thing you know and they don't you know, you can sit there and just play it and you know just have fun it's really cool and this is you know the area where they hold the card tournaments um you know as you can see it's not like gigantically huge but to me it also feels like it feels like it's just like awesome though because it's like you know I, I hate places that are too big, but you know, that's just me. Like, I just get anxiety from being around too many people at once. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that didn't make a whole lick of difference, but... Um, open image in new tab is what I should have done. Okay, can't really zoom in, but, you know, this is one of the checkout counters. You know, they got... Got some good consoles back here against the wall. They got, I know they got a few N64s. Then there's like some uh, over here. I recall seeing some consoles that actually play both NES and Super Nintendo, and just a bunch of other various ones. I know they got some PS3s and 360s back there as well. So I mean, like they said, true to their word, they try. You know, they aim to help please all gamers. Um, one thing I really love is like how they decorated the place too, even though, you know, it's not actual stone or brick or whatever, you know, it still gives you that kind of old RPG kind of feel when you're walking around, especially because they got like, you know, the night figures and stuff around there. So I don't know, I just think it's a really cool layout, it's a really awesome place, and those of you that actually live in Minnesota, that ever have the chance to check them out, do so definitely do so for everyone else you know check out their site order some stuff I mean at least give them a try is all I would say otherwise hi Eniacs, I love you guys and I'll see you later